Um, I don't really know how to start this video or like what to even tell you guys because it's kind of an announcement video, but most of you guys already know what's going on because of Instagram. So, also I think I've done all my videos in a different spot in my room for the past few videos, but as I've said like probably 20 times now, I live in a log house and it's very, very dark, so I have to play with lighting a little bit. I'm starting to figure it out. Kind of. Not really. That's not true. Anyway, big news that I'm announcing, I suppose, is that we added a new pony to the lineup. He's not a pony by any means. He's 17 too, but he's still a pony. Um, and I'm very, very excited and you guys are very curious to see or to know more about him. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've actually been posting about him for the past week or so. Uh, I think I posted about him on Christmas Eve. And so you guys probably know a lot about him already, but I posted earlier asking if you guys have any questions about him and there's actually a lot to cover. So I'm just going to make a basic introduction and then dive right into the questions. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know how to start. <laughs> um, his barn name is Diesel. His registered name is Ironized. And it sounds like I'm saying Iron Eyes, but it's Ironized. I'll put it right here. Um, his sire's name is Iron Age. I can't remember his... Dan's name. Let me look that up. But while I'm looking that up, I'll tell you guys more about him. Uh, he's four years old. He is 17 too. Um, a lot of people are wondering if he's going to grow anymore. I don't know. I hope not because he's very big. <laughs> so he was actually in my trainer's barn and he's been there for a little while, but he only came available for sale, I think, sometime in December. So probably like a month or two after Congress, I was kind of in this emotional mental rut. Like I just didn't feel like riding. All my motivation was just down the toilet. Like my love for the horses were still there and I was always happy, I'm always happy to go out and feed in the morning. That's the reason I wake up. I go out and feed and then I feed at night and all that. But I just didn't have motivation to do anything. Like we went and showed the holiday classic like I mentioned in my last video and I literally worked the showmanship with Elliot once before we went to the show. Like it just, and I loved being at the show so much and I just, I missed being able to show the hunt seat classes and everything like that. So it was just kind of like this big point in my life where I just felt completely lost. And for a while I thought that I really wanted something that was ready to show because I've always had something that I had to work on, like always had a project. Like I started Elliot when he was two, he's five now. He's all I've shown for the past three years. And which is, I've loved every minute of it, but he's the only thing I've ever shown at QHA as well. And so I've always been bringing along a green horse because he's very, it just, he's taken a while. <laughs> um, love him to death, but he's taken a while. And he, so he's the only experience I had, you know, consistently. Where was I going with this? I'm very tired. Uh, oh yeah, anyways. And so I've always been used to showing something green or, you know, that needs work. And so I figured I wanted something that I could show and just show and not worry about anything else for my last youth year because 2018 is my last year as a youth and to show as a youth. And um, so when we first originally, when we originally heard of Diesel, he, I rode him and I loved him immediately, but he's green. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll wait it out, see if there's anything else out there. I uh, was interested in a few other horses, those fell through, wasn't meant to be, and we went back to Diesel. And my trainer's like, you know what, he's just, he's such a different ride from Elliot and everything else I've ever ridden. She's like, give him another chance, ride him. I rode him two more times. It was awesome that he was in the barn and I had the opportunity to ride him a couple times. Um, but she's like, ride him, again, ride him again, see what you think, and just see if you two click. And I rode him the second time, so the first time after she said try again. Um, so that second ride, um, you know, I liked him, but I was like, okay, you know, I see that he's green, but, you know, is he really what I want? Like, he's a really cool horse, but is he what I want? And then the third ride, we really clicked. Like, it was just that feeling where I was like, okay, this is a really cool horse, a really cool opportunity, and I need to take hold of it and part of me was like you know but I still feel like I should get something that's ready to show but at one point during the ride my trainer and I my trainer was getting me to work on something with him and we finally got it and she was like yes you got it and you just I got that feeling in the pit of my stomach like oh my gosh this is what I missed this is what I love about the green horses and about the horses the project horses and 
all the horses that just need a little help and handle like I, that is what I love is that that feeling of accomplishment that's what I missed so much and he really got my motivation back and I was like that is the as cheesy as it sounds I was like that is the spark that I've been needing and so we just clicked and he just made me so happy so yeah we went forward with it and we actually decided because he is so different from Elliot and he is still fairly green um we decided to keep him with my trainer for a month, so he is still with my trainer for January, and then he comes home to my house in February. So, and a lot of people are, have been asking me, like, what have you been doing with him, blah, blah, blah. Well, my trainer is an hour away. I just dropped my phone, and I don't want to look at it because I'm pretty sure it's cracked. No, we're good. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, my trainer is an hour away, and this past week, we decided to buy him on Christmas Eve the day before Christmas Eve, I think, so December 24th, and that whole week, like, it was Christmas and New Year's week, so it was just kind of difficult to get up there, and, because today's, I'm filming this on New Year's Day, I think it's still New Year's Day, yeah, it's 9.30, anyway, yeah, I haven't even seen him since I bought him, so, um, the last time I saw him was my last ride on him, and then I called my trainer later that day, and I was like, okay, we're gonna go through with this, and we went, did, did that, bleh, did all that, so I think, that's a general overview. I feel like I'm missing stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and dive into these questions because that's going to help me tell you guys a little bit more about him because I know you guys are curious. Um, let me find my post. So there's 90 comments asking questions. Uh, I'm going to have to trim down on them a little bit, but I'll try to cover all of them. What do you plan to do with him? We're going to be doing the hunt seat, equitation, and the showmanship. How long in centimeters are his ears apart? Madison, why are you like this? Uh, will he be going to the Congress? This has been something that's been coming up a lot. Um, like I've said, he is super green and he's a new ride to me. And, um, you know, I have a lot of hopes and goals and all that for with him. But with how last year went, I just, I don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself or him because he is green. So I'm just taking it a little bit at a time and like because he hasn't shown in a while I've never shown him so we're just gonna get past the first show before we make any giant plans um but I would love to go to Congress with him but I'm not gonna make that plan officially because it also depends on my school schedule and my financial situation at that point so that's all on hold his personality okay he is the funniest horse like I feel like he is just hit him and Foxy are gonna hit it off like He's just so weird. He's a big goofball. He is, he's like a giant golden retriever. It is the funniest thing. I'm going to have to figure out how to capture his personality on video because it is hilarious and I love it. When will your first show be with him? Um, I think we're aiming for the Martin Ganza for our first official show. I'm really trying to find um, some schooling shows to go to in between that because that's a big show to start out at. Um, but it's in the Martin Ganza is in March. I believe unless they changed it this year so finding something to go to um, before then is gonna be a little bit difficult but we're gonna see what we can do has he ever shown before he has been shown in the green hunter saddle and I'm mean, like the open hunter saddle uh, once or twice I think I don't remember I didn't print out his record um, but yeah when will you be bringing him home? I believe we're planning on January 30th, but like the end of January once he's done with his training month. Um, what had he done previously before you bought him? Just the hunt seat. So he's never done the pattern classes, but he is started in the showmanship. My trainer started in the showmanship, and I honestly think he's going to do really well in it. He picked it up really quickly, and he's really cute in it, even though he's so giant, which might look a little funny. Um, comparison to Elliot, he is a very, very different horse. Like, he's just he doesn't have a mean bone in his body he's just big and goofy and he's a people pleaser and i the but riding wise he's very 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 lofty and bouncy and elliot is very flat so that's why i'm having like it was difficult at first for me to figure out how to ride him because he's so different from elliot why do you ride him in western saddle if you show the hunt seat or will you do the western events too so this is kind of a two birds with one stone question um I think I've touched on this before on my YouTube, but I get asked a lot why I ride in the Western Saddle if I show English events. It's just, I don't even know if I have that great of an explanation for it. It's just something that we do in the quarter horse world. 
Uh, a lot of our English riders ride in Western Saddles to practice, and it's literally just, it's kind of a carryover from training. Like if you have a really green horse, we just start them out on Western Saddles, and it just kind of carries through. It's for comfort, just kind of a thing. I don't know. <laughs> and also a lot of people have been asking if I'm ever going to show him Western. I don't have any plans to. He can jog, and like I don't have any problem against showing him in the Western for the all-around, but like... I enjoy the English events, so I don't really have any desire to show the Western stuff, and I also don't have like a Western service saddle and everything like that. I just don't have the desire to. I don't know. How often, this has been something that's asked a lot, how often will you work him? I mean, when he comes home, probably frequently throughout the week, um, I'm going to have to get to know him and all that jazz. Um, does he require a lot of leg? Is he lazy? Um, he's not... I would definitely peg him more on the lazy than the than the forward side, um, but he's he's got I mean he's just a very aid sen not sensitive but like he really likes a supportive seat and a, a supportive leg. Yes, he is he is registered. That's another question that's coming up a lot is uh, what breed is he? He is a full quarter horse. He is a papered quarter horse, and I know he's tall for a quarter horse, but I promise he's a quarter horse. <laughs> Someone asked why is he so big. He was 16-3 as a two-year-old, I believe. I stalked him a little bit. I don't know how tall his parents are, um, but that'd be something I can look into. Does he have a color? Right now, y'all are going to hate me. Right now, everything for him is black and navy because uh, navy is my trainer's, like, our show barn colors. And black, like, I don't know, it's just easy to buy things in black. <laughs> I don't know. I, and, like, every other color I don't really like with him, so I don't know. What size blanket does he wear? He wears an 86 to an 87. He has 184, but it's really tight on him. Somebody asked, will he, does he get along with the other horses? He will be turned out uh, individually just like Elliot was, and that's just a precaution because they are show, show horses. Um, it helps separate them from anxiety for... Uh, not getting attached to others and injuries and getting all scratched up in the pasture. It's just a show horse thing. But they can sniff over the fence. I think he'll get along beautifully, honestly. He does have dapples, but I don't know exactly how many he has on either side. I will have to count. Are you looking for a 17 hand plus horse? Not necessarily. Um, Elliot is 16-1, so I was kind of looking for something above that just because I'm 5'6". I'm, I'm not super tall, super short, but I just feel like that fits me a lot better. Uh, what kind of grain do you feed him? He will be on, right now I can't remember what he's on at my trainer's barn, but when we bring him here, he'll be on Tribute Calm and Easy. My camera died. That was fun. Anyways, um, somebody asked if he's going to college with me. Technically, yes, because I'm commuting from home to college, so like, he'll still be at my house, but like, he won't be going to college with me, because like, I don't think he'd enjoy math class. Um, when you bought Diesel, were you trying to replace Elliot? I don't really like the word replace, but, I mean, because Elliot is and will always be my heart horse, and you don't really just, like, replace a family member like that, I guess? I don't know. Um, and, but he is, Diesel is going to be my show horse, so... Anyways, uh, and then I also got asked if I'm going to continue doing showmanship with Elliot, Yes, this is a question that comes up a lot. Yes, but he won't be going to every show with us just because that does get really expensive really quickly to take two horses, especially. And I also don't want him to be sitting around in a stall for a whole weekend when he can only do the showmanship because it's hard on his body to lunge and that would be his only form of exercise. But stuff like the Holiday Classic, like the one day open shows, um, stuff like that, I'll probably end up taking him to. What is his birthday? His birthday is either February... It's February 18th, I'm pretty sure. It's either that or the 16th. I would look it up if I wasn't running out of time. <laughs> um, was it scary making a size change? Or were you ready for a big horse? So I actually started my riding career on Clydesdales. I never had, like, pony days. A uh, family friend of ours had some Clydesdales, and that's what I started out riding on because I loved horses so much, and I was like, any opportunity to ride. So it kind of felt familiar to me almost. But... Um, he, his size was intimidating at first on the ground just because being around quarter horses and at quarter horse shows you don't really see horses that big all the time 
Uh, and at, like I said, Elliot is 16'1", Foxy's 15'3", so that's what I've been used to the past three years. But once once I was on him, it really didn't feel that different. Like, he is a big lofty mover, but like I didn't feel like I was like a mile, a million miles from the ground. That changed when it came time to get off, because I was like, well, where's the ground? And then like, wait two minutes and then you hit the ground. But other than that, it wasn't really scary or anything. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think I hit all the questions. Um, but I did make an introduction post on my Instagram. Uh, it's the first bay horse, or the first picture of a bay horse that I've posted in a long time. Um, but I will continue to post pictures. I probably won't have a lot of videos to post just because during lessons, my trainer will video sometimes to show me stuff, but we're so focused on working that we don't really take videos. Excuse me. I'm having issues. Anyways. But if I can drag a peasant along with me to video, then I will absolutely. But until then, you're probably just going to have to deal with pictures of his cute face. Which is a very cute face. But anyway. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for helping me welcome Diesel to the family. And I'm really excited to see where we go. And I was really excited to make this announcement. But yeah. I need to go to bed. Because <laughs> so, I actually have a lesson on him tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any more questions for me, feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe and yeah, peep the Equestrian Bliss merch. People have also been asking if we're going to have a diesel line and as soon as I get the foxy line out, then I will because I've been dragging my feet on the foxy line and I don't, if for some reason the file format keeps not working. But now I'm blabbing on. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys love diesel as much as I do. Yay! Thank you for sticking with me!